Carla Elizabeth Maciel and Mario. Good evening. How are you today? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I'm great. I'm ready for today. Excellent. What about you, teacher? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. And also, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Hey. Yeah, so the thing is getting like harder and harder, but yes, I'm getting ready with more material for you to practice. So yes, we're ready. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you, teacher. Hey, and how are you doing, Mario, Elizabeth, and Carla? I hope that you're doing good and you have a good day today. Today was Wednesday, we're in the middle of the week, and uh, today morning you're going to uh, sleep at least early for Saturday and Sunday, but yeah. For now we have to continue <laughs> studying and getting more knowledge every day. Okay, so I'm going to share the presentation with you for, from we stopped yesterday. Okay. So yesterday we stopped here. We didn't do this exercise. And this is um, to complete the satisfaction survey. Do you know what's the survey? What's the meaning of survey? What is the survey? What survey means? It's encuesta. It's a uh, encuesta de satisfacción. So um, complete the satisfaction survey using the words in the book. And what are the words that, that, words that we have there? We have hidden, vicious, dining, taking, and server. Um, first, we have to complete the vocabulary uh, by placing the words here. After that, um, you will be uh, selecting in these boxes, like number one is strongly disagree, number two disagree, three agree, and four strongly agree. Um, you can do it here in the presentation, but you can also use um, your material. Let me share you can. Okay, here we are. If it is easier for you, you can work from your material and you can click here to make it bigger. Okay. And then remember that you have the tools here so that you can um, keep, uh, type the information in here. So for example, in the first one, if we read there the statement, uh, we, Promptly, what is the word that best complete here in number one? What do you think? Siete. Okay, so we finish. Okay, so we get it from. Okay, now you have to think in a um an experience that you already have, right? Number two, the was there to take our order quickly. Server. Excellent. Server. Number three, the server was friendly and patient when our order. Talking. Okay, taking. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, number four, our server coordinated the timing of the perfectly. Thinning. Mm. <laughs> dishes. Dishes. Uh, yes, the time of the dishes. That's right. Thank you so much. And then we have the server was able to answer all our questions. Overall, the service was excellent. And number seven, 
we need to complete. Considering everything or experience was a good value. Yes, dining. Yes, here is a dining. Dining experience was a good value. And then uh, you can uh, continue here. But th before you continue here, you have to think in an experience that you have had maybe the last time that you visited a restaurant. That can be one. When was the last time that you go to a restaurant? What was the last time that you visited a restaurant? Okay, so you have to think. Uh, for example, uh, the last time I went to a restaurant was um, Sunday. On Sunday, I visited Casa Campo. We were seated promptly. I will check here strongly a week, and I think we hear what it says. Uh, so I can check your phone a bit. Okay. Uh the server was there to take the order quickly. I'm sorry, this is <laughs> probably this I read. I need to correct this. And strongly agree. Um, the server was there to take our order quickly, okay. And um, the server was friendly in patient when taking on their time, okay. So, happy. Our server coordinated the time of dishes perfectly in mm -hmm. and with that green. The server was able to answer all the questions. Yes, strongly agree. Overall, the service was excellent. Okay, I click on it. Considering everything or dining experience was a good value. Mm, yes, yeah. I like it. You can do the same about you. Would someone like to share? You can share your experience too. Any volunteer? You can work, and uh, here I am in the working from the manual. You can do the same. You can work on the manual if it is easier for you. I think it's easier to um, to modify it. I will give you time, and then you can share with us.
Is everybody finished? Or do you need more time? A volunteer to share. Volunteer to share. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, teacher, but I don't, I don't finally. Well, you haven't finished. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you more time.
Okay, I volunteer to share your work. If you want, you can share a screen. Or if it's too difficult, you can just read what you have. What was your experience and how would you rate your service? I volunteer. No volunteers? Meet teacher. Thank you. I'm going to read the, the sentences. Okay, good. Thank you. And first one. I think uh, we were seated. Sit it. Sit. Uh -huh, you could promptly. Sit it promptly. The elevation is. Uh, Sorry, Miguel. Uh, where did you go? What is the name of the restaurant? Oh, uh, I went to China Walk. Oh, China Walk. Oh. Yeah. Okay, continue. Um, we were seated promptly. Promptly, is correct? Yes, promptly. Okay. Um, I agree. Number three. Okay. This point. Mm -hmm. And the second one. The server was there to take. Our order quickly. And this point, um, is for strongly agree. Mm -hmm. He was very quickly for take our order. Okay, he was very fast. And then number three, mm -hmm. the server was friendly and. Parting when taking our order. Okay. And this point, I think, um, I agree. Number three. Mm -hmm. And number four, our servers coordinate, coordinate the timing of the dining, dining perfectly. Mm -hmm. And this point, I think number four, strongly agree. Okay. And five, number five, the server was able to answer all your questions. I think strongly agree. And number six, overall, the service was excellent. Uh, agree. Uh, last one. Considering everything, our dishes experience what? Sorry, <laughs> dining. Dining. Okay, our dining experience was a good value. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, Number three, I'm I agree. Oh, you agree. Excellent. Thank you so much. My dear, you have a very, very good pronunciation. It's just a couple of things, but this is the chance that you have to practice and to improve. Thank you so much yeah. for taking the chance. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. Anybody else? Nobody else? Okay, no worries. 
Oh, okay. Then you have uh, this uh, exercise. Let's try to do it. Um, I'll give you time. I hope that you do it and that you're able to do it. Number three, paywork. You have to answer these two questions um, giving your personal opinion. There is no information here, uh, but your personal opinion. Are satisfaction service a good way to make sure procedures are followed in a restaurant? Do you consider placing posters about procedures in a strategic place that will help your place follow those procedures? So your answer should be yes or no, but you have to uh, pro support your idea, support your answer, not only yes or no. I'll give you five minutes to do this exercise and then um, we will share what you have.
Okay, time is on for uh, volunteer to share your opinion for the first question. Are satisfaction service a good way to make sure procedures are followed in a restaurant? You can raise your hand. Do you need more time? Are you there? Are you sleeping? Are you watching TV? Are you in a meeting? Or is there a particular way because of what you don't participate? Okay, Carla, thank you. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, I agree with service because a restaurant now and the perspective of consumer from consumer service, product quality, and knowing if the place is well cleaning. Excellent, Carla. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, and you mentioned that it's a way to know the customer's perspective. Yes, that's a good point. Excellent. Thank you so much for your answer. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, let's see if we have a volunteer for the second. Do you have do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places? Will have employees follow those procedures? What do you think? Is it necessary? Is it helpful? Or you didn't finish that one? What do you think about placing posters about procedures for employers to follow them? You didn't finish? Okay, uh, more time. Okay, that's good. I'll give you three minutes for this one.
Have you finished? Ready with the second one? Do you consider facing poster about procedures in a strategic place to have the employees follow those procedures? Have you finished with that one? What is your opinion? Teacher, mm -hmm. it, it, if it will help fresh of procedures in visual mm -hmm. appealing way. <clears throat> okay, excellent, Valmore. It will help, uh, yes, to refresh, right? You have it visually. Mm -hmm. To refresh for maybe all the employees and for new ones too to um, remember them as well. Excellent, Palmore, thank you so much. It's a good point of view. Anybody else? Nobody else? Okay. So thank you so much, Carla and Balmore, uh, for your participation. Let me stop sharing so that we can check attendance. And uh, remember that uh, si hay alguna razón en particular por la que no puedan participar, déjenlo saber, aunque lo ideal es de que participen, ¿verdad? Porque si no, pues eh, se convierte como en un monólogo. Si es que están muy cansaditos ya para esta hora, tal vez hayan opciones de otro horario. O si sienten que es mucho inglés, pueden decírmelo también. O si mucho español, no sé. Eh, o volverles a explicar. Siéntanse libres de escribir para poder ayudarles. Eh, y así puedan participar más. ¿Sí? Porque es importante, no hay manera de saber si estamos... Eh, haciendo bien las cosas o no, si no participamos. Y vamos a chequear asistencia. Remember, say present when you hear your name. And... Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Elizabeth. Ok, ah, parece conectada, pero no escucho respuesta de Abigail. Elizabeth Hernández. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. Present. Thank you, Abigail Mejía. Balmore Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto. Present, teacher. Presiona a mí. Presiona a mí. Gracias por esto. Gracias. Gracias. Excel Vanessa. Uh.
Parece conectada, pero no tengo respuesta. Así. En el chat creo que le respondió. Ok. Sí, que ok. Espero que se mejore pronto, Yulisa. Carla Ibaño. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Luis Javier. Luis Javier. Oh, Luis Javier está conectado, pero no tengo respuesta. Martiel Esaú. Present, Miss. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Mario. Melanie. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yanet. Mirna Yanet Ángel. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Cristina. Víctor Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Now, let's check the next exercise. Well, the next thing that we have in our material is the um, building vocabulary exercise. And um, we are to use a dictionary to find the meaning of this word. Yesterday, I gave you a couple of uh, recommendations about dictionary. I think that uh, for me, the best are Macmillan and Cambridge, if you want to use them, to get the definition of these words. Dispenser, bird, designated, sink, and thoroughly. Probably some words are not new for you, but yes, some of them, I think at least thoroughly is not very common. So that could be a new word for you. So we're going to do this individually. I'll give you 10 minutes for you to look for the meaning of this word. Remember that you can use the, your, um, you can use a prompt to get to those dictionaries. It's not necessary that you download them. Pueden usar Chrome para eh, poner dispenser meaning. Y ahí pues ven el que diga, el link que diga Cambridge o, o, o Macmillan. Y ahí pueden copiar y pegar eh, solo por, en su material. Si lo quieren hacer así o tomar notas como ustedes gusten. Y I'll give you time for you to work on this. And then we check together.
Are you ready? Teacher, I need a couple of minutes, please. Sure, no problem.
ready? Who wants to share? You can share the screen or you just can read about dispenser. What did you find? What is the definition for dispenser? El dispensador o dispensadora. Uh -huh. That is, uh, yes, that's in Spanish, dispensador. That, um, did you find an English definition? A machine or container that you can get something from. Ah, excellent. That's a good definition. And Catherine writes here, a machine who releases a specific things. Mm -hmm. Both definitions are correct. Thank you so much for uh, participating. Those are correct. Now, what about dirt? What did you find, volunteer? Jeff, mm -hmm. I found uh, it's like gossip. Sorry? Como gossip? Mm -hmm. Any other definition for this, for dirt? Un placer or bad detail about some private life that are repeat or published to influence people's opinion of the in a negative way. Um, that can be. Let's read about Victor Bonilla's, uh, he said, a substance such as mud or dust that soil someone or something. Excellent. That is the proper definition. Thank you so much. Now, designated. What did you find for designated? Carla? Okay. Uh, to choose someone officially to do a particular job. Mm -hmm. To choose someone. Excellent. Very good. Now think. Mm. What think? Anybody found to think? Me, teacher. Yes, thank you. I found um, think. To go to go down the surface or the bottom of the liquid or a self so surface substance. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. For example, so for, example mm -hmm. for example, the Titanic was a passenger ship uh, which sank in ninety twelve. Oh, excellent. Very good. And you did a very nice job conjugating the verbs. <laughs> yes. Okay. And that, that's a verb, uh, think, but it's also a noun. The action, yes, think, as you already described. Very good. But okay. Thank you. And sure. You're welcome. Thank you for participating. And what about Think as a noun. Mm -hmm. A question. Mm. Una consulta en español. <laughs> eh, mm. en, ese, en el Cambridge Dictionary hay varias definiciones en base a verbo, adjetivo, dependiendo la situación o de cómo se utilice. Mm -hmm. En ese caso, ¿cómo nosotros vamos a saber qué definición considerar? Porque, por ejemplo, yo en ese DIR encontré también que era como cosa, que hablar mal de alguien... Mm -hmm. Entonces, y también estaba lo que el compañero Víctor colocó en el, en el chat. Entonces, ¿cómo, en qué momento yo podría? Bueno, claro, dependiendo del contexto de la comunicación, ¿verdad? de la conversación. ¿Eh? Pero en este caso, para poderle dar a usted como la definición, como adjetivo, como verbo. Lo de, el contexto. Ajá, como estamos en lo de restaurante y todo eso, el contexto sería el noun. Ajá. Okay, thank you, teacher. Excellent. 
Pero está bien, está bien, eh, porque ustedes están viendo ese tipo de cosas, que las palabras eh, tienen diferentes funciones y dependiendo de la función, el, el, el significado puede ser bien diferente. Por ejemplo, el que acaba de decir el compañero acerca de zinc es hundirse, ¿verdad? Y, y dio el ejemplo ahí de, del, del Titanic. Y sí, eso es zinc como verbo, pero... En el contexto de restaurante no necesitaríamos el verbo. Y otra función que tiene sync es noun. Si alguien encontró sync como noun, lo vamos okay. a decir. Es, Ajá. Could be like a drop. Mm. Como dejar caer. No. Sync es el lava, es un lavado. Lavado como un lavamanos o uh, lavatrastes, un sink, es un lavamanos. Entonces, eso sería como noun. Y como verbo, el que dijo el compañero, hundirse. Así que, pues, es, es lo, lo, aparte de aprender el vocabulario y darnos cuenta de las diferentes funciones, y luego ejercitar esa parte de ir viendo cuál es lo que necesito. Decir, ok, aquí está, pero el significado no va acorde con lo que estamos discutiendo, entonces busco otra, aquí aparece como noun, aquí está como verbo, está y tal cosa, y dan ejemplos. Así es que pues me alegra mucho que ya hayan visto esas partes de, de, de los diccionarios y eh, también si ven que tienen un icono del, del sonido, es para que escuchen la pronunciación. Así es que muy bien y, y me alegro y agradezco que estén haciendo eh, su partecita con los ejercicios. Es muy importante. Eh, veamos sí. Dorothy. ¿Alguien iba a decir algo? Sí, con el zinc tenía yo una. Ajá. Eh, Sí, yo digo this rainfall thing or plan or plan for the soccer. Está bien. A ver, eh, ¿lo puedes escribir? Ahorita. Ay, que puse en el... He's trying to sing for a plan for the software. Huh? Yes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can use it like that. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, uh, here you can see uh, if I share the screen. Okay, sharing my screen in a moment. There you go. Okay, so you have, uh, you can look for images, pero con imágenes quizás lo que más vamos a ver va a ser esto, el lavado. Like this. Okay. Y luego pues podemos buscar aquí en el diccionario, como les decía, que es lo que ya vieron ustedes. Está como verbo. Eh, lo que decíamos, ¿verdad? Eh, to cause something or someone to go down below the surface uh, or to the bottom of a liquid. Y ya entendíamos que esto es, pues, eh, un dios, ¿verdad? Y pueden darle aquí, UK es el acento británico. Si ven que dice UK, es el, el llamado acento británico y el US es con acento americano. Sink. Sink. Y luego pues tienen ejemplo, lo que es muy útil. Ahora pues lo da eh, to también, eh, be, es como escarbar, pero no lo que necesitamos. Sí, luego dice sink, el noun, que ya me lo muestra acá, incluso con imágenes, como noun, entonces yo digo, ah, ok, entonces esta es a, uh, a bowl that is attached to the wall in a kitchen or bathroom, which you was 
dishes or your hands. Uh -huh. Entonces se puede utilizar para lavar manos o lavar trastes la palabra. Así que pues es lo más seguir eh, buscándole ahí el, el contexto de lo que necesitamos y si se bien es, es bien fácil y esto nos ayuda a varias cosas. Una, el ejercicio tal vez podremos decir, ay, qué aburrido porque yo ya sé que dispenser es dispensador, este, eh, la otra es sociedad, designated es alguien designado, pero lo importante es que estamos practicando muchas cosas. Eh, en la búsqueda, vocabulario, nos da ejemplos y nos da también este, diferentes significados y pronunciación. Así que pues me alegro mucho y agradezco que hayan hecho su parte con el ejercicio. Y solo nos falta una más. Toro, ¿qué encontraron con Toro? Toro, Someone wrote it in the chat. Let's see. Yes. Uh -huh. Translating to Spanish minuciosamente. Means uh, completamente. Yes. Completely or very much. Detallado. Yes. Mm -hmm. In a detailed and careful way. In a detailed and careful way. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly, correct. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for participating. And after that, we have another exercise, which is, um, let's see, two, okay, it's hand washing procedures and create a procedure. So I think that we can keep that and go for a reading exercise to practice pronunciation, to increase our vocabulary and develop our reading comprehension skills. So we have this eating for good luck. So let me share audio with you so that you can listen, you can read, and then we can define vocabulary. Page 63, exercise 11, reading, eating for good luck. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines and oranges. Tangerine sounds like luck, and orange sounds like wealth in the Mandarin language. In Greece and some other Mediterranean countries, people eat pomegranates. Pomegranates bring wealth in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve, one grape for good luck in each month of the new year. At the end of the year in Sweden, people eat rice pudding with an almond inside. Everyone tries to find the almond for good luck in the new year. On New Year's Day in South Korea, people eat duck gook, soup with rice cakes, for strength and health in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with collard greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollar bills. Okay, sounds interesting, right? Do we have any uh, similar tradition for good luck in the new year? Do you ever eat uh, any of these foods?
The grapes. The grapes. For good luck in the new year. What is the second one, teacher? The second one, uh, pomerate. The second one, pomerate, this one? Yeah, like uh, granada. Granada, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's delicious. Y esa palabra que significa black eyed peas. Eh, los black eyed peas son como frijolitos. Bueno, son ahí más o menos de mí. Eh, son estos frijolitos. Son blancos, uh, pero el, el ojito, así como los frijolitos rojos que comemos aquí, tienen como un ojito blanquito, ¿verdad? En el centro. Eso es, es negrito, el ojo que tienen ahí en el centro. Y por eso se llaman Black Eyed Peas. Sí, es un grupo. <ríe> Así se llama el grupo también. Ah, sí, hay un grupo que se llama Black Eyed Peas. <ríe> Con frijoles. <ríe> Con ahora, ya, ahora ya sé dónde viene el significado. <ríe> sí, ajá, Carla dice. Sí, es un grupo también, Katherine. Ah, se acuerdan, los Black Eyed Peas. Pero sí son como los frijoles blancos de aquí, solo que el centrito es negro. Entonces es como un ojito negro y por eso es como chicharos con ojo negro. ¿Any other question? So we have this tradition as well, right? In El Salvador. And yes, they mentioned some in American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve, one grape for good luck, and each month of the year. Do you practice that tradition? Do you practice it? Another result. Yeah, yes, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't work. And also the grapes are really, really expensive. <laughs> Any other tradition that you have uh, in regards of food? Only with grapes, right? That's the only one. Okay. Um, any other question about vocabulary? Okay, if there are no more questions, we can go ahead and complete the exercise A, read the article, and correct this sentence. In Mandarin, the word tangerine sounds like a sentence says well, but the correct information is luck. So you have this in the presentation. And I'm going to be sharing here the reading. And you can check the, the sentences in your presentation because I can do it like, like this, but I think it's too small for you, right? Les queda demasiado pequeño así como para que lo vean completo o si lo dejamos así. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so let's correct the sentences. You can work at there and then we're going to check. Teacher, could you yes? take a screenshot and send uh, what's up? Okay, I can do that. A screenshot. Of the whole thing or the whole picture or you want the reading first and then the sentences? Um, complete. Complete. Completely. Okay. 
Okay, there it is. I already sent the, the screenshot. Teacher, mm -hmm. I think number one is correct for me. Number one, it's done and let me continue sharing so that we can check together. Um, okay, what is the presentation? Okay. Here is the effort. Okay, so the number one in Mandarin, the word tangerine sounds like wealth. For you, is correct. That's mm -hmm. the number one. Let's look. Uh -huh. The correct word is look. So you see here, some Chinese people eat tangerines and oranges. Tangerine sounds like look. Mm -hmm. So the correct information here is look. I'll give it time for you to continue working in the rest of the sentences and then we will check together. I'm sharing here uh, as you have it in the presentation. It's probably easier like this.
Okay, excellent. So what is the correct sentence in number two? Number two is correct. Number two is correct. Yes. Okay, so number two says treat it comrade, comrade bring help. Ask what? It is wealth. Uh huh. So health is salud and wealth is bienestar. So yeah, the word is similar, but the correct is wealth. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you so much. Uh, number three, I volunteer for number three. Incorrect. It's yes, incorrect. Correct. Uh -huh. What is the correct information? In Spain, in some Latin American countries, people eat 20, 12 grapes at midnight on New Year. Uh huh. So probably it's missing uh, that information in Spain and some Latin American countries, right? But good luck in each month, not hour, right? Because here it says each hour of the day, and the correct information is each month of the new year. Uh huh. Each month of the new year. Excellent. Number four, Swedish people eat rice pudding with money inside. Almond inside. Almond, the correct is uh -huh, almond inside, excellent. And then number five, Korean eat soup with chocolate cake for, for strength and health. Incorrect teacher. It's incorrect. Uh huh. What is the correct information? Soup with rice, rice cake. Uh huh. Soup with rice cake. Excellent. Now the last one. So some American eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like dollar bills. Incorrect. Incorrect. What is the correct information? The black eyes piece are like coins. Excellent. That is correct. The black eyes piece are like coins, not dollar bills. <laughs> excellent. You did an excellent job with this uh, reading comprehension exercise. And now um, we will um we will continue here. Okay. So we will continue here with uh, section or unit number three. 
So we will um, practice uh, to interpret information, pretend in stack schedule chart, provide effective strategies to avoid overstaffing and understaffing, provide tips to monitor personal and improve workplace, discuss advantages of employee surveillance programs in restaurants, identify key information about the advantages of employee surveillance programs in the reading passage. Vocabulary to name, restaurant staff members, for example, servers, bartenders, server assistants, hosts, etc. Um, more vocabulary element in staff schedule chart, for example, break, overtime, shift, call in, etc. And terms related to surveillance, for example, theft, weight, behavior, reassure, etc. Um, they study new vocabulary here in the Unit 3 presentation. How do you many overstaffing? Overstaffing is when um, I personal de más. Entonces, a veces tener personal de más, eso es overstaffing. Y lo que hace la empresa es empezar a recortar. Overstaffing. Y sí. understaffing es lo, lo contrario, estar bajo de personal. You're welcome. Any other question? Teacher, what is sur survey islands? Surveillance. Surveillance is vigilancia. Vigilancia. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Advantage. Advantages. Advantages. No, 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 no. Ah, sí, está en plural. Advantages. Uh, ventajas. Ventajas. Advantages. En surveillance. Uh, surveillance. 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 Uh -huh. Vigilancia. Surveillance. Everything else here? Vigilancia, ¿no? Huh? Yes, vigilancia. Um, teacher, um, death in way. Okay, death is robo. Death. Yes. Eso es robo. Eh, wage es salario. Preso. Es reafirmar. Teacher, I can use salary or wish yes mm -hmm. thank you any other question okay as you see uh, there is plenty of new vocabulary that we learn here today that you can practice and with this conversation, maybe we'll find a couple of them, right? Or not. Object schedule. Hostess. Do you know what's hostess? Hostess in the conversation. Mm 
Do you know hostess? Yes. Hostess. Do you know what is a hostess? Or what does a hostess do? In my case, I'm an uh, yeah. Yes, es como la anfitrión, es la persona a la entrada de algún restaurante que nada más da la bienvenida, los lleva hasta la mesa y a veces entregan ellos mismos el menú y ya le dicen que el uh, mesero va a tomar su orden. But yes, that's the anfitrión o hostess. Um, now, let's practice this conversation. Let's repeat. Okay. Let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Did you find new vocabulary or is there any question about pronunciation? No question? No teacher, no question. Okay, thank you for confirming. Uh, do we have volunteers to role play? Me teacher. Okay, thank you. Mari is going to help you. Go ahead. Okay, okay let's check. Okay, let's check your schedule today, Jen. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. To lunch, you have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Thanks for the reminder. Excellent. Thank you so much. You did a very nice job. Uh, do we have two more volunteers? Victor, and who wants to help Victor? A volunteer to help Victor? Carla, thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben, that tense for the remember, remember. Reminder. Reminder, tense. Reminder. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. I remember in the previous module and then in el, in el anterior, la palabra schedule sí costó, ¿verdad? Pero ahora ya lo hacen súper bien. Schedule. Now the last one, reminder, is more re, reminder, reminder. And let's see, two more, just two more, los últimos dos, okay? Two more volunteers? Francisco, and who wants to help Francisco?
Right. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's check in your schedule for today, Jenny. Hello? Yes, Miss. I just heard the first one. So let's put it, okay. I have Francisco and Janet, right? Okay. Francisco y Janet. Yes, we can start. Francisco or okay. Janet, can say. Um, you are okay. right. You have to start covering for ladies as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. to so that you can serve for the rest on the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do Robin thanks for the rem reminders. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Excellent. Thank you so much for participating. And yes, at the beginning, a little difficult, but then you get reminder. Very good. Okay. Uh, hostess. Hostess. The hostess. Host hostess. Uh -huh. Yes, the hostess. Okay. The la covering. Yes, that is correct covering. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did it good. Thank you so much for participating. Now, um, do you have similar schedules or what is your schedule like in your workplace? Are they similar? What's your schedule like? So, for example, me, I do not have always the same schedules. It depends on the group that I have, uh, but they are usually from uh, 8 to 10 p.m. and uh, Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And uh, one in charge of the schedules is our coordinator. What about you? What are your schedules like? Who is in charge of organizing your schedule? Any volunteers to share? Marilyn, thank you so much. You can unmute your microphone. Sure. Yes. If in my company, uh, the schedule is um, quick. It is quick? In week, or, in week. Per week. Ah, per week. It's a weekly schedule? Yes. Ah, okay. And what are they like? The first week, second week? Or they all they always change. Each week change. Every eight week they change. Yes. Okay, and like for example, the first eight week, how would be how would it be like?
how would they be like like the first week? ¿Cómo sería la primera semana, por ejemplo? De las primeras ocho. Or they are totally different in every eight weeks. Hello. Uh -huh. Okay, and who is in charge of organizing your schedule? Is it the supervisor, human resources, manager? Hello, teacher. Okay. In my company, uh, my my supervisor is in charge of the organized organizing organizing the schedule um, weekly. Okay, excellent. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing. And how are the schedules like? Um, what time do you start and what time do you finish? We start. Uh, we start work at seven seven p.m. seven a.m. Sorry. Seven a.m. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, we have. Uh, work orders uh, for each uh, things that we are going we are going to when we are going to do uh, mm -hmm. for for our day okay and what time do you finish work we finish at uh, 4 4 30 around the 4 4 30 p.m wow it's almost a whole day and you start kind of early wow yeah. is it always the same or they change it's the same schedule always starting um, at 7 and finishing at 4 p.m sorry for for nice teacher <laughs> Oh, no, it's no worries. <laughs> no worries. Thank uh, you so much. Uh, we have uh, different days. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's, it's the same. All it's days. not the same every It's time. not the same all days. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nice. Because if you maybe uh, rotate the schedule, uh, it's not always the same routine. So, Maybe that is good. Anybody else would like to share? You can. Mm -hmm. My schedule depends the department a bit. For example, one week I a bit the compras English. Oh, the purchase Let's okay. uh, Yes, the first week, uh, receive, receive, check, check the purchase. The purchase. Of, mm -hmm. The purchase. In the second week, um, check um, tax. Um, in three weeks, for example, Check the um, sales or regional area. Ari, Ari. Regional, regional area. Yes. Or mm. in four weeks, um, check the um, service administrative. Administrative services? Administrative services. Yes. Eh, así es como hago yo mi, 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 mi este, sketcher. Oh, 
but it's really interesting because you you do not repeat the same things every week, so it changes. It's yeah. good. And Mama, yes, it does. Yes, the yellow. Uh, which of those activities or which of these weeks is the the one that you enjoy the most? Teacher, sometimes repeat uh, or continue the uh, activity and choose and to week <coughs> mm. because the activity is very large. Um, because uh, check um, a lot of documents or, pola or political policies, policies. Or, poli or process. Policies, processes, okay. Yes. And the mass regulatorios, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's like, what do you do exactly? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Oh, what do you do exactly? Are you an accountant? No, teacher. I audit internal. Oh, interesting. Yes. Wow. But it must be stressful. <laughs> Isn't it stressful? Do you like your job? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, nice. Good. Thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? What's your schedule like? And who is in charge of organizing your schedule? I'm going to stop sharing for a while. We need to check attendance again um, before we finish today's session. Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Valmore Alexander. Present. Thank you, Valmore. Carlos Emilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you so much. No me mencionó, teacher. Oh. Oh. Valmore. Me a mi teacher. ¿A quién es? Cristina. Cristina de Coto se saltó a Cecia. Ajá. Cristina es casi la última de la lista. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí es de la última. Ok. Ah, es de las últimas. Carlos Humberto. Eh, Cecia Noemí. Elba no se conecta. Francisco Ernesto. Gracias, Miss. Ok, thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Hazel. Okay, Hazel. Okay, thank you so much. Y Carlos ya lo chequeé a los dos. Me confunde ver los dos Carlos ahí. <ríe> eh, Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Yulisa Yamile. Parece que sí está conectada, pero no sé si tiene problemas con el audio. Um, Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Carla Ivania. Mencioné, pero no sé por qué me estoy bajando para ver si está. Carla Ivania, ahí no lo conectaba. Ok, thank you. Luis Javier. Gracias, Luis. Thank you, Luis. Matiel Estabú. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Yes, Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie. 
Well, um, Present. Okay, thank you so much. Mute now, your name. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. And Victor Bonilla. Present. Thank you, Victor. Okay, so remember to complete the platform because there is still people missing section number one. Some of you are missing section number two, and also the midterm exam. If you need assistance, just write us in the chat and say what is the exercise number that you need help with, and we can be um, helping you through the WhatsApp group. So that would be all for today. Thank you so much for joining, for your participation. You were awesome today. See you tomorrow, Bonon. Good night, teacher. Good night, sleep well. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow.